Okay, it's Beer and Pot Cow, the Real Ale Guy. Um, if I could just bring Tom in on this one second. I wasn't recording just a minute ago. Uh, we have page 24, which is uh, in a 750 bottle, but Tom's just going to introduce the beer to so, the camera. So, uh, this is basically a, um, it's a Beer Brune, which is a 7.9% French uh, style beer, which is brewed by a good friend of mine called Stefan, who's a head brewer at Brasserie Saint Germain. Uh, he makes some fantastic beers. I just thought it'd be good for today on our collaboration brew to, to bring a live um, live cast, basically from Simon on this style of beer, and hopefully uh, see what he thinks of this French style. Let's get him in a glass. Good boy. Okay. Good pop. Woo! 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 <laughs> that that looks absolutely superb. I nearly swore then, but uh, wow. Okay. Mm. Excellent. No. And yourself, you're going to be you're doing the yeah, room at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Get into your yes, camera. Uh, don't forget our uh, YouTube uh, guests as well. Like the YouTube guests. <laughs> okay, let's get into the YouTube guests first. Beer in the glass. It's dark. Okay, so it's a sweet go. Go. Your head. It's, it's kind of off white. Nice fluffy head to it. Whoa. <laughs> it's off white. Of it. It's tan. It's got plenty of life in the beer. Plenty of life. We are recording. On three cameras. Yeah, yeah. This, We've got uh, this camera from Gavin, the live camera, and and my my beer camera o'clock. here. Beer o'clock camera. The beer o'clock camera. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So right. as I said, it's a three finger head. It looks really good in the glass. Should we yeah. just give it a nose? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Oh, it's lemonade. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. Nice amount of carbonation in a nose. It's got a. It smells like a Belgian meat. Would that be yeah, right to say yeah. that, Tom, with this beer? Yeah, yeah, he's, 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 he's using a proper spiced yeast, so uh, yeah, you got it on the nose. Let's have a look. What are we get here, boys, now? Blevin, blevin. Excellent. Tom's Good. keeping all the boys refreshing. Keeping our staff entertained. Yeah. <laughs> right, should we, get, should we get this one at um, yeah. a drink? Okay, so yeah, page 24. By Brewery Saint Germain. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh. Kind of Belgian yeast. Yeah. Banana. That's what I'm looking for, yeah. Banana, definitely. Banana with the yeast. To me, it gives you that sort of thing of like when you walk into a sweet shop, sort of yeah. thing. But it, it, saying that, it's not very, very sweet. You know, it's it's <coughs> quite, it's it's very kind of yeah. I don't think I've ever waved a beer at a camera three times, but it's it's <laughs> very, very right. kind of spicy yeah. as well. Yeah, I'm picking up <coughs> I'm picking up spice banana, like a spicy banana, almost like you've had your curry in the curry house. And you're having that kind of banana split dessert. Yeah, that's it's like it, combining yeah. the whole dinner it, together. It is. In the best possible sense, though, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's not yeah. kind of. It doesn't sound. Well, it, it's, it, it tastes a lot better than it actually sounds. Yeah, because naturally, when you start talking about bananas and beers and stuff like that, you know, I mean, for me, First thing when I start talking about bananas is like Wells and Young's banana bread beer, and that is completely different to what this is. Though, you know, it's all the, fantastic. It's the yeast esters that's, um, yeah. that's causing this kind of banana. Yeah, you. Is this beer actually bold conditioned? Not sharp sure. up because there is some very slight amounts of yeast in the glass. <coughs> Guys, as always, put it in the comments box. Is this beer a bottle conditioned beer? Especially live. Especially live. Oh, Tom might know. Tom, is this a bottle conditioned beer? Um, when you have a little glass. Good, good question. I'd say, I'd say that is a bottle conditioned beer. Yeah, but, um, it, it certainly looks like it's got a little bit of yeast in the bottom there. So, <clears throat> so Tom, a, a brewer's kind of perspective on this beer. I'm thinking of like a banana spiciness. Spicy, chocolate, banana, vanilla, beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Really nice beer. Good beer, yeah. Oh, one thing I haven't mentioned is the ABV. You're not picking up that kind of 7.9% at all. Mm. At all. It's a smooth one, isn't it? It's good beer, that. 
Yeah, mm. Tom's back and forth mashing and brewing, and uh, we can't take up too much of his time, but yeah, really good. It is. Gav, you're on a rating scale of a 1 to 5. For this type of beer, I'd probably go with. I'd have to go with a 4 on this because I really do enjoy it. It's something five. I would definitely drink again, yeah, definitely. Yeah, 4 out of 5 for me. Brilliant. Mm. Uh, for me, I think the beer is very well balanced, very well balanced, it's kind of, it looks beautiful in the glass. It's my first French craft beer to be honest. If I can call it a craft beer, it may not be called a craft beer in in, um, in France. Nice kind of floaty kind of carbonation going on, the beer's held its head very very nicely. I like the colour, we've not mentioned the colour yeah. too much. The colour of the beer is it's like a dark bronze, it's almost it like yesterday's yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah, it is. That we've reviewed. Yeah. Um, uh, it's certainly got a nice uh, nice colour on the head there as well. You know? It's lovely. Well, we're going to have to finish these up because we've got a few more beers to do. Yeah. You guys down there watching us live, have you all of these beers? So if you are watching live, you, the trick is you've got to go and grab a beer yourself. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So should we finish these off, guys? Yeah. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Okay, next beer. Just to jump in, jump in the middle of this. We're um, we're currently loading up our percolator, which is basically like a giant coffee percolator. So we're bringing out the aromas on the hops. Brewer's oh. Geth here. He's our brewer. Been stable brewing for us now for five years. Ten round Geth, give it a spin. Show us, show us three cameras. One, show. two, three, right, five. Geth, what do you what do you think about this bag, Geth? Do you think it's small or big? Small. Oh, get out of here, it's whopping! Look at the size of it! Yeah. Come on! Come on! Compete with the Botanics yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. So we're loading up with Galaxy. What else are we putting there, Geth? In a in per player? You just put Centennial. it in. Centennial. Centennial, Galaxy. What's going in? Simcoe? Yeah, Simcoe has the T90s. It offers the whole hot. I'm still reviewing the, uh, the broom beer, but I'm going I'm to just give my rating quickly on this. Right. Let's um, pass over to Geth. Right, Geth, let's get that loaded. Now you can work. Yeah. And yeah. switch off. Going back to this beer, I'm going to rate this. I'm going to rate this. I am <laughs> I'm gonna rate this. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. I think it's a fantastic beer. <laughs> 9 out of 10 beer for me. It is page 24, brewed by Brewery Artisan Brasserie. Absolutely fantastic French craft beer. I'm going to call it a craft beer because I, I think it deserves to be called a craft beer. <laughs> Won the bird test anyway. Won the bird <laughs> test. Nine out of ten for me. Thanks for watching the route. Real L guy. We're going to be moving on to a couple of beers now in a moment. Again, thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.